Oh, there's trees. I don't have enough throttle. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! If this looks fake to you, it's not. This week, we had our builder Vinny slap a motor on our turbo timber that provided a 3 to 1 power to weight ratio. For reference, the timber with the stock motor and prop has a power to weight ratio of just about 1 to 1. Then, later, Ben made in his new, old Flex 170 and we had a little competition. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this thing was an absolute rocket, man. Minus Elton John. But for now, let's go back in time a little to the maiden flight. All right, monster timber, monster motor, monster prop. Three point attitude only. We can only three point takeoff and land. Expecting four to one power to weight. See how this goes. I can feel it in my chest. It's like 20% throttle. <laughs> okay, I gotta trim out the elevator a bit here. Oh God. All right, so uh, for those that don't remember or maybe not know, we tried this at Flight Fest a couple years ago and uh, ended up like this. <laughs> so now we had our buddy Vinny who built the P47 do an immaculate job with a firewall that should never depart the building. So. Without further ado, let's try the rocket ship climb. Oh. Okay, I already saw the wings, dude! <laughs> oh my god! If you caught what I said about the three-point attitudes earlier, here's the reason. Rip prop clearance. Tail low wheel landings can be done, just be careful. For those curious, here's some specs on the Monster Timber. The all-up flight weight of the Monster Timber is about 4 pounds 9 ounces, while in comparison, the OG Turbo Timber comes in at about 3 pounds 8 ounces. For the motor, we went with the Flex Innovations Potenza 70 paired with a spare 80 amp ESC we found in our shop, running a separate BEC for the servos. We're spinning a 16x8 prop on her, which is 5 inches more diameter than the original stock 3 blade. Now for the second flight. We loved hovering our other timbers, so I had to give it a shot with this one. I found it a little bit more difficult to hover than the other timbers I've flown, because it requires you to give forward pressure consistently. It sounds like we may have needed more down thrust, but no biggie. Like that's, this is in a hover, look at how low the throttle is. Eventually I started getting it down and got used to it. We switched out the pack and I had Ben give it a shot. Nice. Ben's on it. Oh, shit. Dude, that nose comes up. Yep. Yeah, I see what you mean. You like give it like no throttle. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> Try a landing. Here. Yeah, yeah. Like explain what you're feeling when you're increasing that throttle from like nothing. Anxious because I don't want to fly it into a tree. <laughs> Three. Yep, three points only, okay. bud. Hey, nice though, you, you corrected. Yeah, there you go. After another pack, we did one more flight for some slow flight testing. It was interesting that despite the monster timber weighing in at just over a pound more than stock, it still flew relatively like a stock timber and not a flying brick house. Overall, we love the monster timber and she holds a special place in her heart. But unfortunately, on an off-camera flight, the BEC became unplugged after one too many positive G maneuvers, which sent the plane in an uncommanded roll straight into God's green earth. Armchair NTSB investigators are still working to determine if she'll ever see the skies again, but more on that later. Before we packed up and called it a day, Ben and I split some flights on the first gen Flex Innovations 170 he recently picked up. Once that pack was finished, we decided to do one more flight. All right, so Zach came to me a while ago and he told me that when you truly master a full scale tail wheel, you should be able to drag the tail wheel down the runway when you're landing. So I suck, so I want to try it with the uh, 170. <laughs>
you leave an F in the comments, there's a chance we might see your fly again. You know, for structural testing purposes. If you've enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like and maybe even hitting subscribe. Let us know what other hack jobs of airplanes you'd enjoy watching stagger into the air. Happy landings and bounce one on for us. We'll see you next time with a new upload. Initiating on sequence. Three, two, one. Gone.